Hello, and welcome to Clay Makes. If you're new here, I make new clay sculptures every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any new videos. Now, a few weeks ago, I made The Mandalorian from the new Disney show, The Mandalorian, and right after I posted that video, the new episode came out. And guess what he did in that video? Upgraded all his armor to the new Baskar armor. Now, granted, it was a great episode, and this was everyone's reaction when they saw the episode. And this is me once I saw the episode. What the f***, you stupid piece of sh You're gonna change it now? Come on, you mother So now I get to take a hammer and fix the situation. And now you have context. Back to the beating. So when I first made this sculpture, I didn't have a very good reference because I didn't actually have a subscription to Disney+. Plus, So I couldn't take like screenshots from it. So while I'm taking off all the armor, I decided to change some of the things that I got wrong while I was at it. Like the gauntlets are a little wrong, the back of the hands are wrong, the bandolier was too thick, and the rounds for his rifle were just too big. And while I was at it doing all of this, I decided to update all the things that he has used so far. Like the detonators on his belt, he doesn't have those anymore, so they need to go, and a few of the rifle rounds need to go as well. Are you crying? No, why would I cry? You're crying over a sculpture. But I I'm tearing it apart. Snap out of it! Now we roll out sheets of clay in the pasta maker and start with the leg armor. We're going to have to use bacon bond for all the pieces so they will stick. It's a little messy, but it's what we got to do. Now with the last set of armor, it was all damaged and battle-worn and I went a little overboard with it because I like it like that. I liked all the dirt and blaster shots, so I didn't need to be very careful with it, nor did I need it to be all that smooth. This, however, was the complete opposite. Everything needed to be clean and very smooth with perfect angles and so on. I just tried really hard not to mess with it that much and touch it as least as possible. For the chest, I decided to build it up in layers since there was so many different angles and pieces that overlapped one another. Again, the tricky part here is to try and get it as smooth as possible because once we put on that clear coat, you're going to see every imperfection. So I picked up a carving set for wood and clay. The tips were not as sharp as I wanted them to be, so I took them and ran them over an 8,000 grit water stone and then polish them with a uh, jeweler's rouge stuff. It's, it's basically a very, very fine powder rubbed into some leather and then you basically just strop it onto that. And now I can shave the hair off my arms. I think that will be sharp enough. It sure cuts through the clay like a hot knife through butter.
For the back of the hands, I made them far too thick the last time. And I didn't put in the bevels on the ends because I couldn't see it in the reference I was using. Time to fix that. For his gauntlet, I wanted to add in the tiny blue darts he upgraded to. But those holes were so small, I had to use the tiny floral wire to make them. I didn't realize I was getting into miniature work when I started this sculpture. Now for the bandolier, I made it a lot thinner this time around and tried to add in all the little details that I could, like the mounting attachment for the rifle and all the little patches of leather. I then took some toothpicks and cut them down for the rifle rounds, making sure to make them smaller than the first ones. The first ones I did were, they were just way too big. Then I made sure to skip some loops on the rifle rounds to match the show. Now on the show, he is out of the detonators, at least for now, so I had to make an empty pouch for them to sit in. This way, if I ever want to change this sculpture again, I can place the detonators back in. Now time to go over the clay with some alcohol to smooth out everything I can. Now while the body is in the oven, we can start on the head. I didn't sculpt a new one, it took hours the first time. You think I really want to do that again? Here I'm using a wet paper towel and placing it in a Tupperware container. They have these kind of paint trays that are supposed to keep the paint wet for weeks so you don't waste paint, but I did it wrong. It sort of worked, but I will have to look into it more. For all the armor, I use Folk Art Metallic with a little black in it. Then I had to color match all the colors that were already there and touch everything back up. I did go back over some of the new stuff with a little black wash to dirty it back up a little. Then we take a clear polish and coat all the armor with it, and pray there is no glaring defects that the light picks up. I think it turned out okay.
Thank you so much for watching everybody. Remember, if you like this video, please consider subscribing and hitting that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any of the new videos. And if you like this video, click or tap right over here. I'll see you all next week.